Welcome to this brief video about adding Google Analytics to your iWeb. This lesson is actually divided into two sections. The first section focuses on adding Google Analytics directly to iWeb. The second section focuses on the extra steps that you need to take if you use iWeb SEO tool from Rage Software. In order for this lesson to be helpful to you, however, it is necessary for you to have completed the following three things. First, your iWeb website must have already been uploaded to the server of your host. Second, you have already registered an account with Google Analytics. And third, you have downloaded the free iWeb SEO tool from Rage Software. Plus, you have successfully used it with your iWeb website. So, let's get started. To analyze traffic on your website, you will need two things. First, you will need your web property ID. And second, you will need your snippet of Java code. Both items are located at www.google.com forward slash analytics. The first page of the site looks like this. You can, get it, you can get to the information you need by pressing the Access Analytics button. The web property ID is a UA number. I highlighted it in red and put a box around it just to let you know where it is located. You will want to write this number down. After you have written down your web property ID on a separate sheet of paper, click the code site link on the left hand side of the page. Press the asynchronous tracking link, which is abbreviated ASYNC, and this will take you directly to the code you need. Copy the entire contents of the box. This is your snippet of Java code. Now you open iWeb. On one of your iWeb pages, you will drag an HTML snippet. After you have dragged the HTML snippet to the iWeb page, it will look like this. Then you will paste your snippet of Java code into the black box. However, you are not finished with this step. You will need to take your iWeb, your web property ID and replace that portion of your Java code that reads UA-XXXXX-X with your web property ID. This is explained briefly on the next slide. This slide tells us that the Java code is necessary to track our traffic on the website. However, the web property ID customizes the tracking to our website. After you have added the Java code and replaced the generic web property ID with your customized web property ID, then you press the apply button on the lower right hand corner of the black box. If you press the command key on your computer and drag the gray HTML box to the bottom of the page, then it will move it into the footer. This moves it out of the way and avoids the possibility of accidentally deleting the box. The next step is to copy the HTML box and paste it to your other iWeb pages. Because you have copied the gray HTML box from the footer, it will be posted in the footer on your other pages as well. If you, publish, if you want to publish your site directly from the iWeb program itself to the web, the site settings will look like this. If you use iWeb SEO tool, you will publish your site to a local folder your site publishing settings will look like this. If you're returning to uh, iWeb SEO tool, you will want to reapply the save tags that you have already applied to the iWeb SEO tool because when you make changes in iWeb, then those changes impact or affect the additions that you've made to the iWeb SEO tool. So, when you do return to iWeb SEO tool, the first steps you will take is to open your website, the folder in the upper left hand corner, select the uh, local folder, which in this case is games, and then you will immediately push reapply save tabs. Then you will go into site settings and you will select that header and then you will paste your customized Java code into the header of uh, this site. And then you will press the apply to entire sites uh, button. 
after you have completed these steps, then you will publish to uh, the web. And you will, you will publish by pressing on the publish button in the upper right hand corner. That will bring up your FTP details page. And this is taken from your actual iWeb program site. So you will need to have written this information down as well. And then when it is time to publish it to the web, then you will be able to add that information to this page. And once you've added the information to the page correctly, then the upload button will be highlighted. You can press the upload button and then it will publish your site to the web.